Guy on Grindr messaged me and he was like, I got some makeup. I mean, 16 years old, hello. I was a total fuck. I was like, yeah, hello. 45, married with children, uh-uh. These days, of course, I've got five going at once. I suffer from male pattern boldness. Yes, my pussy is bold. And that's why I choose to wear wigs. Today's video is sponsored by Everyday Wigs. Hey, honey. Everydaywho.com ships all of their wigs via DHS. Okay, I look like Tana Mojo. And I can totally do her deep laugh because I am a man. <laughs> that lady was such a fucking bitch. Her and that dog. Holy fuck. Okay, get away from her. What the fuck is she doing? Oh my god. Oh my god. Callum, no. We are never going to the park again. Oh, she's pigmented. So pigmented. Oh my god, someone had oatmeal for breakfast. That's really rude. I did have oatmeal for breakfast. Oh <laughs> god. I've rushed my- <laughs> I've grown to become a pervert. Way, 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 Where's my finger? Up there. Daddy. Oh my god, look at this junkie. She's competition. She's competition. 20 bucks, I can take my full jaw or teeth out. <laughs> well, I'll be damned that I still have a full set of teeth, you bitch. Ugg boot looking whore. <laughs> I'm over it. Get me out of here. Don't worry, Will. I'm getting his number plate. No. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that was glamorous. Glamour puss right there. <laughs> I am too iconic to post regularly, and I'm too depressed to not take a three-month annual leave vacation each time that I do post. Hello? No, fuck off. Wow, how did my shit out whole turn to this? I don't really know much about asthma other than you can't breathe air. I don't know, something about it is just like really off. I do live in a lounge room, so through there's my wardrobe and through there is the motherfucking kitchen. Not every day you get a tangled tease the wall decor, but you know, Sometimes you just need a track to liven up. Here is my skateboard that a guy gifted to me. Honestly, I'm not sure what's weirder, this section or this section. I just, I think my whole bedroom's a little bit weird. Down there's Margaret. She's actually a fucking mole. I don't like my neighbors and I'm not ashamed to admit it. Here's my Gigi. I tried returning it to Gigi actually. She wouldn't take it. So um, I said poof to you, Gigi. Uh, <laughs> this is such a cute little section. These stools are literally stolen from my housemates. They're supposed to be in the kitchen, but I was like, fuck it. If I'm gonna film a room tour, I wanna look like I have fucking furniture and not just crates. A framed picture of me pissing on the Fendi. Um, so that was my bedroom tour. I love a bit of role play in the bedroom, given this is a lounge room, but you get what you get at the end of the day. Ouch. Oh. Girl, we got it. I was gonna make a video dedicated to just my Tamagotchi collection, but I don't think anyone would fucking watch it. I'm currently graving the loss of my nearest and dearest iPhone X. There, I said it. It's so hard to finally admit. For fuck's sake, my arms are so greasy. Chicken grease. Ah! Uh, you're well shot, you. And she was like, ah! Hang hung and cards, you got a grief for natural Oh my god, it's got fake tan all over the walls. I no longer see any value in materialistic possessions. Material items just no longer bring me any joy. I found my one true love in things like books and, um, well, yeah. Hey baby, I have recently switched up the dance floor for reading. Now that I'm a club free girl, I've decided that instead of spending $25 entry to a nightclub tonight, I will donate it to a charity in need of my money. <laughs> I am so sorry. I don't know what just came over me. I think I'm sad because Mac Miller died. I literally only know him because he dated Ariana Grande and apparently they're not dating anymore. But like, anyway, it's so sad. Why is everyone dying? And I had like a full two and a half minute empathetic session thinking about him. But then I started thinking about myself halfway through. So I'm not sure if it was all that empathetic. I was feeling super self-conscious and upset that my track marks have been showing my track marks have been showing up lately. I've got multiple track marks. I'm not gonna hide my past. Listen, I did the shit and I don't do the shit no more. There's just more and more to explore every day while you're at the Botanic Gardens. Could you please stop flashing your bits on the street? Oh my God, it looks like Kim Kardashian's old house. Kim, lucky I'm vlogging this because it looks kind of dodge. 
I could become a statistic. It's cryptic writing. It all means blowjob. No, that tastes better than the drink. I might spritz some of that in. I was so embarrassed, so ashamed. Look, he kind of fucking living. I'm gonna do it again sometime. It's kind of like I wanna be there forever. It's fine, sweetheart. Oh God, I just got a text. Oh, it's from Domino's. You're dirty and that wig cap is even dirtier. Fuck off, Domino's. Oh, it's, it doesn't smell that bad. If we have a guest come in the back seat of the car, we want it to smell nice, don't we? I'll get some of my cheap perfume oh. out. That's <laughs> cheap perfume! That's cheap! It cuts itself. I used to be a cutter back in the day. Fuck, it all comes out now. Legal. Maddie just sent me a Snapchat. Suck my dick, vegan bitch. That's. No. Nice. That's where I. No? Yeah, no, that. Where the, the fuck are, are we? we? <laughs> That's hair oil. It smells better than the other shit. Hey babe. Someone snorted a line of ketamine off the dog. Unfortunately for me, no one gave the dog any fucking ketamine, so it's not bloody well dead. <laughs> Lesbian bitch dropped her drink on my silk high heel. I'm looking for my iPhone and some motherfucking vodka. Oh my god. <laughs> Someone's like, what the fuck happened to your face? It's glitter, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Maddie Rose, how long have you been crying? Like the whole night I took my makeup off. Oh, can I? Oh, that's good. That's nice. Oh, am my bad? Ow. Oh, bad. My younger two drinks you drove me. Thanks, so Thanks, Maddie. I love you. You drove the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason. Oh, you drive a car. So you must be good. <laughs> I don't want a license. As long as I've got Will in my life, I'm good. You need to give Will petrol money. You really do. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hit his bin. <laughs> oh, what a gimp. Oh. oh, Jesus. Let me record that. No. No. Hello. No. no. I still have a fish finger stuck in the back of my throat from when I choked on it three hours ago. Fish finger, that's the last time I try and eat anything healthy for breakfast. I am just freezing in this household. I have both heaters on. I have the ducted heating on. I've even got the oven on just to make sure the house is as warm as possible. And I'm still freezing my faux tits off. Oh my God, and do not get me started. This morning I choked on my breakfast. Literal choking, like coughing shit up type of choke. And now my sinuses have just gone AWOL because I've got fish finger caught up in my clacker. <laughs> You get out and shove them in the litter box. What are they for? Council election. Who are we voting for? I don't know. Just shove numbers in any box. You know, these last couple of months, I really have been the modern day Mother Teresa. But I went to Catholic school. And so I've got insider gossip from Bible Gateway that Mother Teresa actually had a huge mean streak. Christian Kath, both with a K on the Bible Gateway forums, actually said that behind closed doors of the missionary, Mother Teresa was a nasty piece of work to the other nuns. Thought she was better than everyone else. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree, is what CD Joanne 86 had to say in regards to Madam Apple. I don't want to stand out too heavily in this dipsy country town, so I'm going to dress as the locals do. And if that means dressing like somebody's mother, so be it. I must admit though, when I put the gillet on, I definitely do bring out a mother vibe. I'm a mother of three Tamagotchis. You're looking for tissues. I'm gonna ruin my makeup with my tears. Oh my god, the place is possessed. Fucking hell, it's hard being a suburban nun. We started watching Black Fish, and I'm not sure what it was about Dawn getting attacked by Tilikum, but it triggered me, and I was like, oh my god, Dawn's dying. So is my souffle in the oven. I'm not depressed. So this is Will's room. Ah! 
so nerdy and ugly. Magpul Gair is so outdated, but I think she would look kind of cute in my room. So I'll take that one for myself. As for this atrocity, I just think we can put that in the Hessian bin. Just done some research and found out that Will's actually asthmatic, which is why he has this contraption on his bedside table. So we're gonna have to leave that there. <laughs> Speaking of avant-garde, I've got the final piece to the puzzle. These have been at my ass, and that's why I think it's a great personal touch for Will's bedroom. Some people on YouTube come out with very deep truths about themselves, like a racist past. I'm coming out with something not so much deep on the surface. These breasts are double G, above chest level, removable, detachable. Literally, despite how good they look beneath a mesh bodysuit, I have not been under the knife since I was 14 years old. These bitches don't have anything on my fucking drugstore glow up. I'm just inserting this so that, you know, I'm not trying to be relatable with what I'm saying. I literally, I look fucked. Male crack addict to female streetwalker. It's water. Doctor said my liver is three years from caving in because he didn't know I was transgender. Every gender diverse fuckhead on YouTube seems to be so very apparently unrecognizable as transgender until it's too late to not be clickbait. Evidently there's a low standard for sugar baby on YouTube, but uh, in comparison to the rest, I think I am the best. Oh, my forehead is so huge. It makes me so miserable every time I look in the viewfinder. I'm a fucking backpacker, but it's like a gorge baggage, the kind that you want. It's really hard being an ex-sugar baby, but I'm more than happy to finally share my secrets. Not because I want to, but because I recently watched a few sugar baby related videos and I'm letting y'all down in the sugar baby community because the shit that is out there, I watched a guy wearing a H&M t-shirt tell me how to get a sugar daddy who? And this is where the pay promotion comes in. I'm a sugar baby. All I think about is money. Like, get over it. Do you own your house? How much in your mortgage do you have to pay off? Is it getting repossessed anytime soon? Like, you, you, it's so fucking weird to ask anything along the lines. So I always ease into it by being like, oh my god. So I want to rent in that said prop. Oh, not like this. Obviously a little more sexier. Like a husky voice or something. But like, not too husky because I technically am a man. 